That's dope. That's dope. Now, uh, Top Flow Entertainment, is that just your own label or you, you know, you with some other people like y'all as a group or is this your uh, solo like label? Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm the, you know what I'm saying? The face of the brand, you know what I'm saying? I'm up front, but it's like, we got family people that, that got certain jobs, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's, it's more, it's like, it ain't no corporation, but it's kind of like a business on the business side. It's more than one, it's more than me. Okay. But, you know what I'm and I'm just the one that just was like, man, this is what we going to do. I put a lot of the things into place, like pieces of the puzzle together. Like this, is what we need to do. We need to do this, 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 this. And, um, yeah, so it's me, you know what I'm saying? Like two or three other people that be tapped in with certain things they be doing behind the scenes and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and it's growing. You know what I'm saying? No, bro. Yeah, man. Especially, you know, it's, it's real dope to see that, you know. Trust, trust that I can turn this music shit into another generation of wealth. A couple million ain't enough. She was rocking with me. All I really had was 30 bucks. She was rocking with me. All she really had. Young brother snapper, not yet 20. Didn't have a clue. Wanted to conquer the world. I don't know feeling shit. Just was a little naive to what I was dealing with. Smile of passion, a heart of gold. She embodies the definition of mind, body, and soul. Brown skin queen, slim waist with pretty toes. We talking about life. She wifey material. She got all the ingredients, vitamins, minerals. What's good? There you go. What's, yeah. what's good with it, fam? Man, I can't call him, man. Another day, yeah. another dollar, man. What's yeah, good I, with you? I'm good, bro. How you feeling? Man, I'm straight, man. Everything been good. You know what I'm yeah. saying? How about yourself, man? How you man, feeling? I'm doing good, man. Just happy okay. to be alive, bro. With all this crazy shit going on. Man, everyone in my city, cuz, is just dying left and right, man. Through yeah. violence, through sickness, man. Just happy to be alive, bro. No doubt, no doubt with that though, for real, for real. I know a yeah. lot of people going through that shit, man. Got COVID, man, then the street shit, man. There's a lot of shit going on, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Gotta just hold your head, you know. Yeah, that's a fact, man. First of all, bro, I wanna, you know, thank you for coming on to the show, bro. You actually are the first, you know, MC, you know, that's able to uh bless me, you know, on, on the show. So definitely appreciate okay, no that. Doubt. Shit, hell yeah, it's all love, man. It's all love. Hell yeah. So, bro, uh, before we get into it, kind of let everybody know, like, you know, you know, as far as, like, um, where you from, you know, uh, the music, uh, your music history, your background, you know, what, what led you, you know, into being a dope MC, because I'm, uh, hopefully we can play that track that you sent me, you know, before we uh, tap out. That way everybody can be more in tune with, you know, that track that you sent me, which is fire, bro. That's fire. Hell man. yeah. Hey, I appreciate it. I yeah, appreciate definitely. it. definitely. Man, um, it just started, wait, man, to be honest, man, it started so long ago. Um, I, I just been making music like that where people just respecting, you know what I'm saying, my skills and my craft for the longest. And it started off back when I was a teenager and shit. I used to, uh, I made a song, you know what I'm saying, had the whole high school buzz. And I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. You know what I'm saying? I went to this school called Collinwood or whatever. Had the whole streets buzz, and I had made this track called Homicidal. You know what I'm saying? Back then, in them days, you know what I'm saying? Music used to be a lot more, you know what I'm saying, rugged and raw. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Kind of. You know what I mean? It, you know, I'm taking it way back when you're talking about N.W.A., but they kind of brung that, you know what I'm saying, kind of shit to me. And, and, you know, me being from Cleveland, you know, bone fucking with easy. So it was oh. just basically, you know what I'm saying? So it was yeah. just like, I'm on... I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm from around, you know what I'm saying? The St. Clair, Lakeshore, Cleveland area myself. So, you know what I'm saying? Being tapped in with them and, you know what I'm saying? Easy. They tapped in with Easy. It was just like, man, you know what? This is the type of shit I like rapping about. So we had a track called Homicidal. That shit was buzzing throughout the whole city or whatever, me as a little nigga. So I was just like, you know what? You know, I'm, I'm going to take it serious. And basically, man, I, I just put out fire music independently. You know what I'm saying? I never was, like, looking for no label or nothing like that. I, I got my own, you know what I'm saying, machine. You know what I'm saying? And, and we do, you know what I'm saying, our business. So I don't even really need, like, labels. So basically, I just basically just been throwing out little tracks here and there, letting people, you know what I'm saying, feel it and shit. And that's really yeah, what it is. Yeah, that's, that's dope, bro. So you originally from Cleveland? 
Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then when you, for, for people that don't know, when you mean like bones, like bone thugs and harmony, right? Yeah, 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 right. hell yeah. Bone thugs and harmony, you know what I'm saying? Was who really got me really on this, on this rap shit like I'm on it now. Okay, okay, that's dope, that's dope. Now, uh, Top Flow Entertainment, is that just your own label or you, you know, you with some other people like y'all as a group or is this your uh, solo like label? Yeah, so so I'm I'm the you know what I'm saying the face of the brand you know what I'm saying I'm up front, but it's like we got family people that that got certain jobs you know what I'm saying so it's a it's it's more it's like it ain't no corporation but it's kind of like a business on the business side it's more than one it's more than me, okay. but you know what I'm saying I'm just the one that just was like man this is what we gonna do I put a lot of the things in the place like pieces of the puzzle together like this is what we need to do we need to do this 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 this. And um yeah, so it's me, you know what I'm saying, like two or three other people that be tapped in with certain things they be doing behind the scenes and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and it's growing, you know what I'm saying? No, bro, yeah, man. Especially, you know, it's it's real dope to see that, you know, as far as our culture, African Americans, bro, to see like our own, like have their own businesses, have their own, you know, drive. Cause there's a lot of cats out here, bro, that, you know, they want shit handed to them. But by y'all having y'all own, you know, straight from the mud label, bro, that's that's hella dope. And it's like, it's coming from y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, uh, not really trying to, like, reach out, you know, right to normally regular label with people trying to hop on, you know, like, say, for example, Wayne shit, Drake shit, Raw yeah. shit. Now, y'all, you got a setup where niggas can come holla at y'all, you know what I'm saying? Where you can put yeah. people... Yeah, man, that's dope, bro. So, um, who is that it's, track? Before you get into the next thing, on my fault, before you get into the next thing, good. um, that's what I mean. Like, the reason why it's able to keep going, you know what I'm saying, whether it's, it's mainstream or underground, and we all like just doing this shit for fun type shit. Like, we into the battle rap and all of that. We oh. do all that. We do all that for fun. We just like, this is like a hobby. But by niggas having talent, you know what I'm saying, it turned into a little bit more. You start getting a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? You got the clothing and all types of other things. So it's like, oh, it's, it's, it's real. It's, it's, a, it's, it's not something that we wake up in the morning and be like, damn, man, I got to go try to make some money doing this. We right. like, man, I don't, man, listen, I don't care if it flop or not. Like, we love, we love having fun doing the music. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that's what's been really keeping this shit going. And we love battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. all three of us, I wish the other ones was was here now so they could tap in and say what right. they got to say about this shit. But they like being behind the scenes. They ain't really, you know what I'm saying, into camera. So which, which, like which one would y'all say y'all more in tune with more? Or is it kind of like equally as far as the battle rap and music? Well, you know what I'm saying? We met you know what I'm saying? I met most of these people through music. It okay. was like probably even before battle rap times was like really, really a thing like for people. So we we used to just do music and like I said, we was tearing up tearing up the city. You know what I'm saying? Like when people from the land, if they tap into this, people from Cleveland, they gonna understand and they gonna be like, Yeah, I remember Bitch I Hate Your Attitude. That was a song we had that you know, we was open up for Lil Flip. We we was doing all types of stuff. We was making moves, you know what I'm saying? And, and um we had homicidal. It was blowing up throughout the city. So, you know what I'm saying? We knew we could always do it, you know what I'm saying? And this was like like way before internet was really, really a thing. So now that the internet out, we like, oh shit, we know how to plug it in. You know what I'm saying? We got the internet now, just make it even better. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> Get out of Cleveland. Nigga Yo, you know, Cleveland, uh, Cleveland is known for, like, you know, heavy hitters as far as athletes, man. I didn't even know, like, you know, as far as, like, the music game. Well, I know, you know, Bone Thugs, but, like, it, see, yeah, this is Bone uh, Thugs. That now yeah, people want to it's like, cats like y'all that's in Cleveland that's, you know, got the music out there pumping. So it'll let a lot of people know, you know what I'm saying, that Cleveland just ain't about just sports and shit like that. Well, yeah. it's got Oh yeah, some other talent, man. Like I said, I heard the track, and as soon as yeah. you sent me to, I'm like, damn, yeah. oh the nigga, hey, I appreciate that. The beat fire, the flow, mm -hmm. bro. 
everything, man. So kind of uh, let people know, like, what was the process on you uh, as far as, like, producing that record right there that you sent me? Shit, real talk, man. Um, that's really what all my music about. I really, I really care about generational wealth more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Cause I didn't came into a place where back in the day when my parents was raising me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't nobody really running businesses, owning their own thing that they could just hand down to me. So the cycle keep going the same way. Cause now I got to get out there and do the hard work and leg work. You know what I'm saying? When we can just be passing down generational wealth. So, you know what I'm saying? Me and my girl, you know what I'm saying? She also she also went to the music and she sang, she rap, she web manager, like she a part of the business. One of the people I was talking about, um, you know what I'm saying? It's basically about her and my family, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So yeah. it's easy to make shit that that you live every day and you be thinking about and believing in every day and you just put it out there let everybody else hear your thoughts now you like you know what i'm saying here here i go you know what i'm saying and, and, and the older you get you got to start transforming you know what i'm saying your music like i was show, telling you them titles from back mm -hmm. in the day bitch i hate your attitude fire everybody all the youngest and everybody around love it but how i sound you know what i'm saying Later on in life, I'm still talking like that. You got to evolve at some point, too. So mm -hmm. that's why my music now is like about generational wealth, passing things down to the little ones so they good. You know what I'm saying? You just build your empire to where it's a, at a point where none of, none of your grandkids and nothing. You know what I'm saying? Even right. your, your great nephews might get a piece of it. It's just like, right. man, you just want to get your whole family together, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, like, man. Really, I'm so glad that you even you brought up that general wealth, bro, because I'm kind of yeah. like in that same process as well, you know, trying to uh, how like one of my slogans that I use for uh, general wealth. I'm, I always say, like, I'm, I want to leave my kids something more than my last name. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Or they can't eat off my last name or they can't eat off of me working for someone for 40 years, you know. I mean, of course, you got, like, you know, your retirement and pension, whatever. But like you said, if it's your homegrown work, like, you could get this generations on down the line. Like, even say nieces, nephews, everything, bro. Like, yo, man, it's a lot. Of, I'm glad you said that because a lot of uh, blacks don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? Or it's more like a selfish thing where they try to keep it in-house. But, yo, man, I'm very glad that you brought up that uh, generational wealth, bro, because, right. you know, I other stuff on this podcast and that was one of my topics uh last year i mean not okay. last year, week was the generational wealth so yeah and definitely glad you uh you know too. Glad to that's yeah. good if you listen to the song trust that's what we talk about throughout it you know what i'm saying because you gotta have trust for your partner man a lot of people think you you know what i'm saying you can you can do it all yourself i mean you can but it's just better when you rock with somebody that got the same mind frame and the same um, goals and aspirations as you. So now when, when you making this music, if you make a song that pertains to that person, it all, it all just flows. It's, it's natural. So it sounds better. And that's, you know what I'm saying? Probably why I felt like it sounded good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Other people telling me it was fire and you know what I'm yes. saying? I'm trying to keep that same energy. Yes. And, and I, not only am I talking about, you know what I'm saying? Her on there, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm big up in her, but I'm making sure that, I'm letting her know and everybody else know that's listening to the song. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to a point to where all my children is 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 set for life and not only them, their children set for life. That's just what I'm on. Yeah, yeah, facts, bro, man. Like I said, man, just hearing that from another brother, bro, like that mean a lot, man. And you know, we, we just recently been getting acquainted, bro, and it's like, just to hear like even like is. Because, you know, a lot of us, as far as being black fathers, we get a lot of uh, shitty stigma for some other people's bad reputation. But it's dope to see, like, yo, it's real dads out here that's providing, bro. That's, like you said, married or holding down a relationship, holding down a family, bro. It ain't just, like, cats out here that's not taking care of their kids or running from girl to girl, man. It's a lot of solid niggas out here in the world, bro. And this is, like, meeting people like this, bro, be uplifting me bro and hopefully you know it can uplift people because it takes a real man to even for you to you know make a track about 
building with your old lady or coming on here, man. Cause you know, this social media days now is like, oh, you gotta have all kind of women. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you're trying to seem like it ain't cool to settle down, have have a family. Oh, yeah. And that used to be me. I can't even cap. That used to be me. But I always was rapping about what I was really on. You know what I'm saying? I was really on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That back then. But I but like you were saying, it's it's smarter for me to tell people to just skip all that, you know what I'm saying, phases and get right early. You know, mm -hmm. build something early. Cause mm -hmm. man, you know how to, you know, once you get up to your in your thirties and things like that, you didn't went, you know, you didn't already built stuff at at a super young age with somebody. It, it helps with building, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, family structure. When you start young, you know what I mean? So, me personally, yes, I, was, I, I switched it up. That's why I rap about it, too, because I want to let people know, like, hey, y'all heard them songs back in the day. Now y'all hearing this, and this might be a little more smoother. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I think, it's, I think it's better for marketing purposes and everything, but... Mm -hmm. You know how to, you know how it is nowadays. Yeah. You know, if I'm talking about that, they don't want to hear. It. They want to hear you talking that opposite stuff. But I stick to the course because, like I told you earlier, I'm I'm having fun doing this. So right. that's really what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So how can someone like find like for those that's watching, let people know where they can find your music in that clothing line that you was talking about? Yep. So <clears throat> the music is um. You, if you go on any platform, type in T uh, dash main, and and with the E, just put the three. That's it. And then you're gonna see all of my songs. But trust is the song that I'm pushing now, and another song called Life to Give Them. I want you to uh, download that one too. I got and, you. And you can even get it on my website at topflow216.com, and then you just go to slash music. If you want to go straight to the music or you just go on the site, you know what I'm saying, and um, find it through there. And and you can find all my songs uh, that way. Oh, dope, bro. So uh, na name a few artists that, you know, uh, kind of got you, like, in love with m being, like, a musician. You got any dope artists that, you know, like, you follow currently or back in the day? Yeah, uh... First off, like like I was telling you, is it's like a group thing with Bone, but like you know what I'm saying. Who else? I man, it was a lot. I had a lot of people. Like you saying, like my main go to people yeah. would probably be like Jay Z, Lil mm -hmm. Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Like I was a big time Lil Wayne fan because he had it locked down for a while after Jay Z kind of started slowing down a little bit, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Those was my guys. I like Benny Siegel. I liked a lot of Rockefeller music back in the day. That, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. Rockefeller was hard to me. Um, Man. <laughs> Man. Nice little run. You know what I'm saying? I like I like State Property. Those guys like Man Hot Boys. I like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Cash Money. Man, No Limit. Mm -hmm. I, I like a wide variety of, of different things. I like like West Coast shit too with pop. Like mm -hmm. that was like my favorite rapper of all time. Yeah, Even man. Other people was killing it, you know what I'm saying, coming out after him. I was just like, man, no, a Tupac, you still ain't harder than Pac. Like, you know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> to this yeah. day I'll be thinking that too. Like, no, I, you ain't no way you ain't harder than Pac, man. Yeah, Pac, man. My dog, that's my favorite rapper of all time. That's a fact, bro. So, uh, you know how these uh, the verses has been going on. Have you been able to check some of these verses out? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I've been ca I've been catching um pretty much all of the hip hop ones. I missed a few of them, but most of the hip hop ones I caught. Yeah. What, so, what you think? Or uh, what's your take on this uh, Diddy verse Jermaine Dupree? How you think that that'll yeah. play? Yeah, I, I was looking at that online, and I think that battle gonna be. That battle would be cool because, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I grew up around, like, certain eras, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, niggas be thinking I'd be super young. I'm I'm in my 30s, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't heard, you know, as a young nigga, like, J Jermaine Dupri, man, he, he got a lot more stuff than people know he got, man. I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't wrote for people. You know what I'm saying? He, like, the top songwriter. He writing for Mariah Carey and all types of people like that. 
that's platinum, you know what I'm saying? So, and then you got Puff, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm, I'm a Biggie fan, you know what I'm saying? I like the locks. I like a lot of the stuff that Puff had his hands tied into. I just don't know if he had enough really to mess with Jermaine Dupri. If they allow Jermaine Dupri to use just songs that he wrote, right? songs that he produced, you know? Now you talking for a long stretch from the early 90s all the way till now. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, bro, I think that shit got to be more than 20 songs if they do that. Yeah. It, have to be for both. it has to be like maybe 30, maybe even 40. Because like you said, Jermaine, <laughs> he was even playing. I didn't even know he did that with Chris Cross. He wrote that. Yeah, yeah. He wrote Chris Cross. Really, Chris really Cross nice. song. The Brat had some good music back then. Like, the Brat was, like, considered one of the hottest female rappers at one point. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah. So, if, like, for those that's tuning in, man, that's thinking about getting into music or, you know, they just starting music, what's some of the advice that you can give, like, someone as far as, like, writing a song or, you know, coming up with their own beats, stuff like that? Yeah. So, so lately... Lately, as far as, like, getting the beats, you know what I'm saying, I've I really just been uh, reaching out to uh, certain websites and stuff for real, and I've been find, finding something that, met, you know what I'm saying, match where my mind that I just go look for a thousand, like, maybe not, I'm over-exaggerating a thousand. Like, I'll go through a bunch of beats until I find something that I feel, like, different. Because I know I'm cold on the, new, on the shit that everybody else rapping, like if mm -hmm. I if I hop on a track that with the type of beat that everybody you know what I'm saying already in tune with and love, I kill that shit. I be I like doing different beats that people ain't really messing with to let people know like look when you jump on this beat, you can turn this into that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just I t I would tell them dig deep when they looking for their music. Don't settle and if they got an in-house producer don't just settle on the first beat he make you know what i'm saying i hate to say this i ain't trying to knock people producers pace or money but make them make another one or you know what i'm saying make hey keep going through their catalog of beats until you find what you got you know what i'm saying patience is everything man people be rushing into it hear some fire shit and be like oh yeah, and you you might find some fire and be like, damn, I ain't never heard really heard nothing like this, because that's what people really ultimately ultimately looking for is is some new shit all the time anyway. Mm -hmm. So I would do that. And as as far as like you know, what I'm saying get, getting um, you you saying basically what you were saying with the writing process, you was just saying mm -hmm. something. You says, yeah, man, with that process, that's all. To me personally, if you li when you, when y'all listen to my music and y'all check me out, like I said, I'm on all platforms. T Main, put the three, you know what I'm saying. Take away the E. When you go check me out, you are gonna see I got a wide range of styles and shit. I don't really stick to just one way of rapping. I try to switch it up a lot, and I feel like that's important. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep trying to reinvent yourself. Don't get too comfortable. And think that hey, I'm I'm just gonna you know say ride this wave because eventually you are gonna be old news. Then you you can't keep your income. You know what I'm saying residual. You got to keep reinventing yourself. You know what I'm saying like who who do that right now? Who would you say do that right like now? Like who was always rapping but always can come back and rap and drop some hot shit? Um, probably like uh, great maybe because he's been around for a long ass time he keep reading yeah, for sure though i guess i'm not a heavy drake fan but at the end of the day i don't i don't dislike him so i feel like he can do that but it ain't it ain't that it ain't that many but if you chasing the goal you want to be chasing the goal that it ain't just easy to get you know what i'm saying or else everybody else already gonna probably hit that same goal as, you know what i'm saying if it's easy yeah that, that's, that's what what I'm I'm yeah that's man, fact, man. So if you like, uh, if you could collab, like have a collab record with any artist, what would be you know a few artists that you would pick to rock out with on a, on, on a beat, whether it's slow beat, R and B, hip hop, yeah. you know, who would you like? Who would be the first person they'd be like, yo, T Main, like yo, you can have any artist right now. Which one would you be like, yo, give me him? Uh, oh man, it'd be between Lil Baby and and. and and the, the baby, you know what I'm saying? I like both of them right now, you know what I'm saying? Lil Baby, though, I think he just, 
I think he one of them niggas like you tell him, hey man, it's time to rap. Boom, right on the spot. He gonna just come through. Blah, 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 blah. And I like that. I wanna be on the track with somebody like that because that get you that extra motivation you need. And I, and I like the baby because I just like, you know what I'm saying, his performance, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he say some shit too, you know what I'm saying? But all in all, niggas really want to just have fun when they listen to the music. They want to enjoy they self. Mm -hmm. And he he makes sure that I'll be like, all right, man, I'm in, I'm enjoying myself listening to this. It ain't no track. <laughs> I like the track he got with Lil Wayne. I can't remember the name of it, but this shit, shit just came out. Him and Lil Wayne got a little track. It sounded yeah. right, you know. Mm -hmm. Who else? Who else? Like it's some, it's some, it's some cold niggas. You know what I'm saying? Right now, you know what I'm saying. But I think them the two that I a probably lot of cold, tap in cold ones, bro. Huh? I said so many cold artists out here. I mean, one of my yeah. favorite all time artists is Wale oh, and uh, Lloyd God, Banks. Solid. Wale and Lloyd Solid. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like both of them. They they definitely they definitely uh, talk on the track, man. They they put. Um, they push shit together real. They got like a technical lyrical. They lyrical, but they know how to ride the beat and shit. I don't know how to explain it really. Them niggas is cold though, man. Both yeah. of them. And I like that lyrical see, ability. See that we see that y'all tapped into the battle rap too. So yeah, we, all right, name a few of uh, battle rappers that you always you know follow. Man, um, when I when I first when I first started messing with it, man, it was uh, it was, um, math was one of them. Uh, murder move, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? J Mills, um, Ines. I was rocking with Sirius Jones, you know what I'm saying? That's like around, and I liked uh. I like Tylo because I, I was catching him on 106 in part. It was even before like smacking shit. I, I remember him when he was when I so you know what I'm saying? Once I got over to watching Smack DVD and shit like that, I was like, yeah, I, I know uh I know Hollo, you know what I'm saying? Uh who else was like, yeah, them the main the main dudes. Then I had took like a, a break off because I, I had my first kid and shit, you know what I'm saying? And I started doing my business that I was doing, so I wasn't really able to tap in. I took like a year or two off, and when I came back, it was Tay Rock, K-Shine. They was going at it. I was like Charlie Clips, uh, you know what I'm saying, DNA. It was like, I was like, okay, damn, there's a whole bunch of these niggas now. So I started really getting into it, you know what I'm saying, after that. You know what I'm saying? So suit surfing all of them back then that 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 little wave i was like okay this shit this shit might be something for real because i ain't mm -hmm. see smack get you no know i said i know smack dvd was popping but once the dvd era was over i ain't know how the internet was really gonna take you know what i'm saying to i ain't know they was gonna blow up like they did and shit like you are real and shit they still doing their thing 2021 who would have known, man? Back then, yeah. all I know is Smack, you know what I'm saying, had it on lock with them damn DVDs. I used to couldn't wait to watch the battles at the end of them. Oh, yeah. You ain't lying, man. You know what so I'm saying? Before, uh, before we get out, bro, kind of explain, like, uh, to the people, because, you know, you got a whole, like, pretty, pretty much lifespan fire as, like, you didn't seen different eras of music. Kind of explain to the people, like, from, like, the pop era and rappers back then to... The rappers now like Lil Baby and you know everything like that. Kind of explain the difference or some similarities in the in the music. Um, I think the difference now. Uh, I think this era now people say more, say what? All right, it's gonna be hard to explain this one, cause you know they used to say whatever they wanted to say back then, but they was trying to censor people a lot more back then you know what i'm saying like they they was you know remember in, in like nwa used to have to try to fight with the press because they used to always be talking about y'all saying this and that and y'all talking about killing and and da 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 it it made some artists had to calm down it seemed like now you know what i'm saying niggas saying whatever they want to say like especially if you listen to the the baby new music like and his videos I, i'm like damn this nigga got a whole strap out shooting a motherfucker but 
it's crazy. I'm like, damn, they was on us heavy back in our day about shit like that. It was just weird. I don't know, but I like I, I like the music back then because it was just to me it was like more authentic. I think, you know, what I'm saying they weren't getting as much money as these new artists getting, so yeah. I think they was more hungry. <laughs> and I think these new artists just got it easy because they got everything. And I ain't I ain't knocking new artists because I'm still a new artist in, in a sense, but. They got everything so easy. You can just get an email with a beat, boom, boom, drop it down yourself in the studio if you got to, boom, put it out, and you on. Or right. you got an opportunity to get on. Back then, you used to have to go to the studio and shit like that and, and find the right people to get the, your music out. It was more tough back then, so I think the artists back then was more hungry. I think the artists now just got it a little more easy. But I, I could hear, like, the baby lightweight, I could hear like Pac lightweight voice, you know what I'm saying, a little bit when I hear the baby rhyme or something like that. Um, his tempos and his 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 style, like the way he he uh, ride the beat is is different. And that's why I think that he he on where he on, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How he is so big, the nigga, the nigga different. And when I started listening to him, I was like, all right, let me hear this same nigga that I'm hearing from everybody else. And to me, he just didn't sound like everybody else. Same with Lil Baby. I was mm -hmm. like, Lil Baby, this nigga is probably, to me, probably on top of the game right now on this rap shit, man. I ain't gonna even lie to you, man. Yeah, it's not I know Drake. I know Drake killing it. He he been killing for how many summers, but Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. But yeah, you're right though, bro. For me, yeah. Lil Baby, man, he got the game on lock right he now, man. Yo, and you know what's crazy, yo, bro, whoever either if he's with himself or if he on someone future, bro, like, yo, yeah. yo, bro, like, he, he elite, man. And the crazy thing yeah. is, he probably one of the artists that I started listening to as far as this era, bro. So, like, if I listen to artists, I go straight to him. Okay. Hey, no, that's real, because I, I kind of been missing the eras. Like, if once the nigga starts spitting out names, I'd be like, okay, I know him, and I have heard a few of his songs. But it ain't like how it used to be back in the day where I could just name off all the, the rappers that I love and like. I, I can name two or three, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it ain't really as much as it used to be, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I don't want to sound like everybody else because that's what I keep hearing from people. Like, so I don't listen to as much music as I, different music as I used to because I'm rapping, I'm making music now, and I want to be as original as possible, you know what I'm saying? That's just to me. That's the best way to go, but you yeah. can't, you can't, you can't deny or avoid little baby music. No. Like you just can't. It's it's too cold to miss out on. Yeah, man, that that nigga's dope, man. And yo, bro, I'm just <laughs> man. This is so much, so many good music, and it's kind of sad that man we lost a lot of fucking artists, man. Like, and these niggas is young, man. Like, these yeah. cats dying left and right, bro. And millionaires, bro. Millionaires yeah. man losing their life over silly shit, man. That's real. Yes. And that's real than in the King Von one, you know what I'm saying? Hit me kind of harder than other ones because I was really tapped into his music. And I when I um when I first started my website, you know what I'm saying? I had just got tapped in into his music. And he was like one of the first people that I was putting on my website, like this nigga right here about to be the hardest nigga out of Chicago soon and you know what I'm saying like not knowing for sure if he would have or not but I felt like man he making good music right now hey it was stopping him from keep going you know what I'm saying I liked his music I posted him up and then like boom like maybe a month or two later after I, I, I was posting his videos on my site he passed I'm like damn you know what I'm saying that's a wasted not not a wasted talent I ain't trying to be harsh or nothing like that it's just fucked up that, you know what I'm saying, somebody who has as talented as he as he was, you know what I'm saying, get caught up in in, in the street life just the way it is, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. shit be everywhere, man. That shit just not just yeah. in Chicago, Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? That shit be everywhere. Yeah, man. Facts, bro. Facts, bro. So yeah, bro, let let everybody know about, you know, where you can be followed at, all your social media and where they can cop, you know, your music and everything. Yep, yep. So on IG, you know what I'm saying? I'm top flow underscore E N T. Um Twitter top flow two one six. No, yeah, yeah. At top flow two one six on Twitter. And um shit, you can just stream my music on all platforms. Just type in T Main 
with the three, not the E, at the end. And shit, you know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? In my website, topflow216.com, you can mm-hmm. go there. And that's where you can get all, like, you can get everything there for real if you don't, you know what I'm saying? It's a one-stop shop. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, we got we got the blogs we be doing, you know what I'm saying? We do we do videos and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, when we drop music, we, our videos be up on there. It ain't just on YouTube. And then, you know, we got our uh, apparel over there, too. Like, you can get sweatshirts, hoodies, all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? That we that we be putting together. Um, yeah, the music there, you can download it. From, you know what I'm saying? If you want to support me, you can download it from there. I'd rather you get it from there. Download it. I know, I know y'all be having y'all playlists with Apple and all of that. Yeah. I feel it. I can understand it. That's why I don't even be mad. I just be like, yo, I mean, it is what it is. But if you rock with Top Flow and T Main, you can also just go ahead and just download it for like two dollars per song. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I got you. Just bro. to support me. Yep, you know I got you. I definitely got you. And I just, de- I definitely will be copying. You know the hoodies and whatever you got online. You know what I'm saying? Because oh. you know, I'm all about supporting people, especially you know our black brothers, bro. So I'm definitely, you definitely got to support it here, bro. And I'm gonna be making sure I support and. You know, on all my social medias, I'll be letting everybody know about, you know, all your websites and YouTube and Twitter and everything where they can follow you and everybody can be, you know, more tapped in, you know, to what you got going on, bro. Hey, I appreciate that, man. For real. One love, man. I appreciate yes. you even, you know what I'm saying, coming through interviewing me, you know what I'm saying, and everything like that, man. It's all love, man. Yes, sir, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming on the show, brother, man. You know, be safe, bro. Continue, you know doing your thing with the music. And like I said, bro, you definitely got a supporter, you know, with me. So, man, keep it locked, bro. You know, we'll be in contact on Twitter and all that good stuff. Okay, bet. Good looking out, right, man. man. Cool, bro. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Man. All that. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, what's good, everybody, man? That's my boy, T-Main 3, you know, Top Flow Entertainment. I'm going to have all his stuff in the descriptions on the YouTube and Spotify channel. But, yeah, man, there we go, man. Beyond Reality Podcast, another exclusive episode. So, y'all know my slogan. Just a man I like to talk about reality. Peace. Lyrical exercise. I say what they want here, though. Lyrical exercises used to be text and violence. That was before I had children and now I'm extra polished. Gotta respect the process, opportunities, options. Little children watching LLCs and credit. Don't glorify pistol popping, don't glorify shit to stop them from residual income. Stocks and bonds and wisdom, not prison walls and caught in the system. So much life to give them. Woo! Woo! There's so much life to give them out here dancing with the devil and wonder why your life off rhythm. If it's systemic and we about to change the algorithm. Can't walk a mile in my shoes, I walk a hundred miles in them. And what I've been through, no one went through. I'm just biased, I'm not into what y'all niggas into. This is the preview, top flow straight, just like Ken 2. We not about it.